we kind of live in an illusion that we're not going to die. Coming in here, I was expecting to die in three months. At the end, does it really matter? People who are sick and are dying. Cancer. Misery. Medications and treatments. Surgeries and morphine. Give me morphine. <laughs> This life is very difficult. If you don't have hope, then death is pointless. I hope that in those last moments they can know that they are loved. We live in a world that's just so filled with hate. Who deserves love? God deserves our love. Family. Family. Everyone. 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 <laughs> we all want to receive love. It's a gift. Every person you meet, every part of your day is an opportunity to demonstrate love. Bring some sunshine into their day. Being present to them. Laugh with them. Just spend our day with them. The patients that I care for, they have those exact same questions. What does love mean to me? What gets me up in the morning? What reason are you here for? If I can help them to find some comfort, some element of home and love and family life, then that's what I want to do for them. The love we give our patients is actually God's love. Everybody's treated so well. It is a hopeful place, I think. Hope is often described as an anchor, and it helps us hang on. You are not just falling into an empty space. Somebody's holding you. But if death is at the end of it all, why try? I think the role that we play is yet to be revealed. I do think God uses us as His instruments when we allow Him to. What does it mean to belong? I was trying to find my place in the world. God gave me a gift. I found a way of life that I was being called to. To belong is to be a part of something. It's not something that just added. You are an essential part. That's how we feel here that every member is an integral part of, every sister, every patient. We're part of what God wants to give us that day. I know nothing happens by accident. Belonging is you're there for a reason. The idea of a call was sort of confusing, but when I found our community, the Apostolate was a really big part of that call for me. It's in continuity with the way our foundress began the work. I could look at our community now, and we're doing the same thing. It was to belong to Christ exclusively in this way of life. Not only demonstrating love to the people in front of us, but to the God who's called us here. And the fact that He wants that from us is kind of amazing. Demonstrating love by saying, I'm tired, I kind of would rather take a nap, but I want to be here with you, because there's nothing more important than that. It's a way to start the day with a little bit of a sacrifice. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His love endures forever. It's a full giving of yourself in every moment, and that is something that is powerful when you know that you are one in a community of sisters, that we're there to support one another, to seek the Lord together. They go in there in this very selfless way to take care of that patient. It comes out being that one becomes very selfless. So a giving over, an emptying of themselves so that His love can enter. That person then is able to relinquish themselves to then pass God on to others. People are trying to live a life and not really, really know what true love is. Love is a person, and that person is Jesus Christ. No matter who we're caring for, we must love them. We're compelled to love them. Love is the connector between the present and eternity. This isn't permanent. This is just a journey. Heaven is so much better than anything we could have here. It's birth into eternal life. There would be no end to suffering, to pain, and when the last breath comes, they cease our time and they enter into eternity.